This is a case of vestibular bone expansion in a cat, and this is a fairly young cat, as you can see, based on those pulp cavity diameters. If you look at the mesial aspect right at the marginal bone level, you'll see that there is a little expansion there. Uh, there's also bone loss adjacent to that incisor and a little bit on the canine as well there. And then looking at it from this view, it's more expansive. And sometimes we can alter that by removing some of the bone and apically positioning a flap to move the gingiva back apically on the new bone level after we've contoured that and eliminated the debris on the root and uh, the abnormal bone. So looking at it grossly uh, intraoperatively, you can see that there's a lot of debris on that root, either necrotic cementum or calculus or both. So we do root planting to remove that. Then we contour the bone and eliminate that granulation tissue between the bone and the tooth root and the um, bone itself. And now we've got a smooth bone transition to suture the gingiva back to at a level that's more apical. So you see we've exposed that root there grossly and then sutured that gum down a little bit further. There's, there's what it looked like before radiographically. There's what it looks like now. There's before and there's after. And the question might be, would we extract those other incisors? And there was no um, indication, there was no mobility, there's no gingival inflammation there. So unusual case, um, I, I think probably uh, just because we've been able to follow this case up, that was a good decision, but you could also extract those as well, um, and it wouldn't be a, um, an issue. So uh, again, that's, that's what it looked like right before uh, or right after the procedure itself. And then there is a couple months later and thereafter we've been able to follow this kitty who comes back to us every four to six months uh, for this procedure. And you have to definitely have an owner that's going to get the patient back for routine prophylaxis, cleaning, periodontal care, or this is not going to work. So you uh, have to pick your patients, but uh, good outcome, and we can expect that uh, fairly consistently as long as the defect's not too bad.